Console. It's the browser's built-in debugger. You may have heard of it before, but try running console log console. It does a lot more than you may have realized. In some cases, you only want to console log something if a condition is false. In that case, you're probably looking for a cert. When the first argument is false, it logs the second argument as an error. Another trick you'll often see people do is use console log along with braces to provide labels for the things that they're logging. That's cool and all, but change log to table and you get a much prettier output. As JS developers, we often like to abuse console log, and that can make things pretty messy. Use console group to group things together with a label, then collapse them by default to save space in the console. Things can also get ugly if you're logging a bunch of objects. Change log to dir and you get a much cleaner triangle dropdown. Do you ever find yourself manually incrementing a number in your console logs? If so, you might be able to save your sanity by using console count. It takes an optional label, and every time it's called, it will increment the count by one. On a similar note, you can also keep track of the amount of time between your console logs. Calling time will start a timer, then time log will log the amount of time elapsed since that timer started. Now in JavaScript, we're often working in the context of deeply nested functions and objects. When debugging, it may be necessary to traverse through the stack trace of your code. Use console trace in the function you would expect to be at the top of the call stack. And now we can see exactly what happened before this function was pushed onto the top of the call stack. And lastly, every good JS developer should give their console log some flair. Use percent %c as the first character in a string, then pass in some CSS styling as your second argument. And now the console is your canvas. If you want to see more short videos like this, make sure to hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.